There's fast food hamburgers, there's fast food Mexican, there's fast food Chinese, blah, blah, blah. Some Mexican-inspired foods have people from Mexico scratching their heads. Why? Well, here are 10 Mexican dishes no one eats in Mexico. Burrito. I love you, everything burrito. One of two dishes that most people think of when picturing the quintessential Mexican dish would have to be the burrito. Overloaded with refried beans, fluffy rice, ooey-gooey cheese, and mounds of savory ground beef, the burrito is both a scrumptious dish and a staple of Mexican cuisine. Except it isn't Mexican at all. In fact, if you happen to be in Mexico and ask somebody to bring you a burrito, chances are you'll be presented with a donkey, as burrito literally translates to little donkey in Spanish. As for the true origin of the delicious meal, its roots go back about 1,000 years to the Mesoamericans in Mexico. But the burrito North Americans are so familiar with is another story. Back in the early 20th century, the burrito we all know first popped up in California. Though many rumors and theories abound as to the origin of the modern burrito, the consensus seems to be that what we call a burrito in this country is not a Mexican signature dish. But perhaps we have it all wrong. You see, Kim Jong-il, former leader of North Korea, claimed to be responsible for the creation of the burrito, having created the tasty dish back in 2011, just before his death. Oh, and he also invented the hamburger, by the way. Hmm, you learn something new every day. Fajitas. Yes way, yes way all day. Perhaps you've heard a popular comedian's bit about the overwhelming experience of having a fajita platter arrive at your table. The sound of the sizzling chicken or steak as the piping hot dish approaches, the distinctive aroma wafting into your nose, and the mouth-watering display of the various fajita items as envious diners glance at the individual who just ordered the delicious dish. Ordering a fajita is very much an event and one of the tastiest meals this side of… Texas? Yes, that's right, the sizzling meat and peppers of the savory fajita owe their existence to the great state of Texas. Much like the burrito, fajitas began to appear in the early 20th century. The dish was heavily inspired by Mexico, using ingredients commonly associated with the country and its cuisine. But the dish isn't something you would find on a menu while on vacation there. With Texas bordering Mexico, it's not too shocking that many of the dishes coming out of the Lone Star State take inspiration from Mexico. Perhaps one day, a person visiting from Mexico will order a fajita and bring the dish back to the country that served as its inspiration, as everyone should experience the spectacle of this sizzling dish. Nachos. I'm really busy right now. There are plenty of snacks out there that are chip-based, but of all the crunchy appetizers that you can order or even prepare yourself, nachos stand apart from the rest as the most delicious. Whether eaten by one or shared among a group of close friends, nachos are a crispy, savory treat for all to enjoy. Topped with melted cheese, spicy jalapenos, juicy tomatoes, sour cream, and even piping hot ground beef, nachos are a mouth-watering reminder that some of the tastiest dishes are a result of our friends south of the border. That would be, of course, if the dish originated in Mexico, which it did not. It turns out nachos are not exactly Mexican, and their convoluted origin is a fascinating tale to say the least. Sometime in the 1940s, while in Mexico, a group of Americans entered a local restaurant after hours looking for something to eat. Not wishing to lose the tourists' business, even with the restaurant being closed, the maitre d' put together some fried tortilla slices, cheese, jalapenos, and served the dish to the Americans. While the last-minute meal was created in Mexico, this dish will not be present on any menu in authentic Mexican restaurants. This is especially true for nachos grande or loaded nachos, with those particular multiple-ingredient-laden versions finding their origins entirely outside of Mexico. Queso dip. I brought something. Oh. Dip. Cheese is a popular ingredient in many dishes around the world. Can you honestly picture a pizza without a bed of melted mozzarella resting on top? 
or not finding a slice of cheese peeking out from underneath the bun of a juicy cheeseburger. So it should come as no surprise that cheese has become a common ingredient in many popular Mexican dishes, such as queso. Queso, or queso dip, has long been thought of as the quintessential cheese sauce of Mexico. Yeah, about that. If you happen to find yourself in the enviable position of vacationing in Mexico, venture into a local restaurant and ask if they serve queso dip. The response will almost certainly be that of bewilderment or something entirely different from what you were expecting, as the bright liquid queso dip is an American invention. While the word queso is Spanish for cheese, and Mexicans will fully understand what you are saying, asking for the dish in any food establishment will yield nothing. The neon orange liquid cheese North Americans call queso is an invention of the Lone Star State. That's right, queso is, in fact, a product of Texas. While salsa con queso is a Mexican dish, it bears almost no resemblance to the tangy dip we have all come to love and associate with Mexico. While queso dip is delicious, it has about as much to do with Mexico as spaghetti. So the next time you feel the urge to throw one of those authentic Mexican-themed parties, save the queso dip for the next Super Bowl tailgate. Margarita I'll drink to that. There are thousands of thirst-quenching mixed drinks in the world. And other than perhaps a Corona Cerveza, nothing quite symbolizes Mexico in a glass like a margarita. The tangy zip of lime, the citrus of the Cointreau liqueur, and of course, the stiff punch from tequila is enough to have anyone trying to catch the next plane to the fabled Margaritaville. A single sip can not only be refreshing, but also generate images of the white, sand sandy beaches and warm tropical breezes of Mexico flying through your mind. Alas, perhaps the most famous of all the Mexican cocktails isn't actually Mexican at all. Much like many items previously mentioned, the exact origins of the margarita isn't really known, with theories suggesting that the satisfying drink was created outside of Mexico years ago. Granted, lime is definitely an item that you'll find all over Mexico, and tequila is about as Mexican as the agave fruit it's made from. While there are beverages that are similar to the famous cocktail within Mexico, a margarita simply isn't an authentic Mexican drink. So wherever Margaritaville truly is, it's not in Mexico. Chili con carne. Mean pot of chili. If you take a look at the ingredients of some of the most famous, beloved dishes around the world, nine times out of ten, you'll find the dishes contain simple ingredients. Why complicate dinner with a blinding number of ingredients? This seems to be the order of the day with many favorites. Some of these foods include pizza. It's simply dough, marinara sauce, and mozzarella. Now, bringing it back to Mexico, a taco is a tortilla and savory meat. Simple and delicious. Chili is another one of those simple yet delicious meals that's a popular dish at parties, restaurants, and as a nice family dinner. Your average steaming hot chili can contain anything from beans to corn, but chili con carne is the chili most associated with Mexico. The thing about that is, the only thing Mexican about chili con carne is its name. Unfortunately, anyone seeking a little taste of Mexico by serving up a hot bowl of chili con carne is enjoying nothing more than a tasty little dish of Texas origin. Once again, we find the Lone Star State is responsible for a delectable Mexican-inspired meal. While you may not be able to find a bowl of chili con carne, the next time you happen to find yourself in Mexico, just remember that Mexico has inspired not only chili con carne, but also several other versions of south of the border style chili. Hard shell tacos. What are you eating? Taco meets nacho. I call it the naco. What's the first dish that comes to mind when thinking of authentic Mexican cuisine? Your first thought was likely the taco. Yes, tacos. Delicious, savory, cheesy tacos. Probably one of the tastiest dishes to ever come out of Mexico. But crunchy tacos? Well, no, not so much. While they can be fried, traditional Mexican tacos are a soft-shelled food. In North America, however, 
However, we have Taco Bell to thank for popularizing the hard-shelled variety of taco. Yes, the delicious Mexican food chain that stretches all over the world may not have invented the crispy hard shell, but they definitely made it a staple ingredient in today's taco. Another head-scratcher to anyone used to the real deal would be the addition of ground beef in place of beef strips or even lamb. This would not only be a surprise, but likely met with disappointment, as this would not be the expected savory meat in an authentic Mexican taco. While we're on the subject, the addition of cheddar cheese as well as the rich and tangy sour cream packed within your taco may be tasty, but is nowhere near authentic. So the next time you enjoy that crunchy taco, just remember that's not exactly as authentic as you'd like it to be. At least not the crunchy part. Does this fact make the dish any less delicious? Absolutely not. Chimichangas. This is so good. With all the tortilla-wrapped, overly stuffed dishes that are out there, perhaps the most overlooked is the chimichanga. The chimichanga is like a burrito, only better. How can you do better than a burrito, you might ask? Well, that's an easy one. Simply take the delicious ingredients of a burrito, stuff them into a tortilla, and gently place it into a pot of hot oil until nicely deep-fried. With several varieties and ingredient possibilities, the chimichanga is usually bursting with melted cheese, chewy rice, and steaming hot meat all within a deep-fried tortilla. It doesn't get more scrumptious than that, but is the savory dish Mexican? Well, no, actually. Not at all. Chimichangas are tasty and sport a nifty Spanish name, but the dish is about as Mexican as a falafel. While the burrito has its foundations in Mexico, the chimichanga has nothing to do with the country. In fact, the American Southwest, likely Arizona, is responsible for its creation. So if you happen to be a lover of all things Southwest, you can now add the delicious chimichanga to the list of Arizona greats, like the Red Orange Sunsets, Phoenix Mountain Range, and the Grand Canyon. Flour Tortilla Tacos Taco Tuesday! I knew that was suspicious. Tortillas are 100% authentic Mexican cuisine. Not only are they a staple in many of the country's dishes, tortillas are also almost immediately thought of when the subject of Mexican food comes up. Yes, the tortilla is a versatile, tasty treat that has been used to make crispy chips, delicious wraps, and served up on the side of a meal, usually coming in the form of a housing for a taco's savory ingredients or a tasty blanket for the aforementioned burrito or chimichanga, the corn and flour tortilla has been a scrumptious form of flatbread for all to enjoy all over the world. As mentioned, you can't have a taco without a tortilla shell. The two are inseparable, and there's nothing quite like a nice corn or flour tortilla taco. Well, not everyone in the world has had the pleasure of eating this dish, as Mexico has no idea what a taco served in a flour tortilla is. Traditional tacos are served in tortillas made with masa harina, which is a corn flour. The flour tortilla, while used in Mexican dishes, is never used as a shell for a taco at least not in Mexico. If you happen to be in the mood for something deliciously cheesy, then order a quesadilla. Then you'll find yourself feasting on a tortilla of the flour variety. Churros <laughs> If there's anything better than a sumptuous, hearty meal, it would have to be a rich, sweet dessert. Dessert is one of the most joyous parts of eating out, or even the best part for many, after enjoying a home-cooked meal. Whether it happens to be a creamy bowl of vanilla ice cream, a warm batch of chocolate chip cookies freshly baked and dipped in a large glass of milk, a chewy fudge brownie, or a slice of apple pie, dessert is the best. All around the world, dessert varies in preparation, but the result is is always the same. Many sweet dishes are often deep fried, such as the classic American donut or the similar Canadian beaver tail, but the cinnamon sugar churro is one of the most beloved of all the fried desserts. The churro is Mexico's answer to the deep fried sweet treat. Or is it? Well, no, it isn't. Sadly, churros are not Mexican. Sure, you can find them all over the country, being enjoyed by all in a number of shops, but the confectionery sweet is a Spanish dessert. At least the language is the same. 